guys, it's Misty from Join the Journey, and I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek into our school room for the 2017-2018 school year. Now, the last time I did a blog post on our school room was in 2015, I think. So, our room has changed quite a bit because my older kids are now 7th and 5th grade, and my youngest is kindergarten. So, I wanted to show you what all had changed. So, I'm going to flip this around. And we're going to start over here with, I'm going to back up a little bit. This is our schoolroom side. You can kind of see a little bit about our space. Up there on the top of that bookshelf is my daughter's map for uh, her Apologia game. So this is our world map. And you can see we have not peeled off our stickers yet from um, the Apologia land animals that my daughter did last year. But above their school space, you will see we have our 2017 goals for Kristen. There is her school schedule that she was supposed to pin right there. We have a little thing on how to narrate. And then there's Allison's goals for the year and her schedule for the school year. So this is where my girls do their schoolwork. You can see our table is very well used. So over here on our bookshelf on the top, I have all of the curriculum that we're not using right now. Moving down on our bookshelf, I have our chapter books, read alouds, things like that. And then each child has their own shelf for school. So this one's Allison's, this one's Kristen's, and this one is Daniel's. And on Kristen's, she always had a hard time getting her books to stand up. So I bought these little magazine racks from Walmart for like a dollar or two, and they hold her books up really well. And on this side, that's where she's supposed to keep her library books. And then on Daniel's, you can see his, um, I have his in a basket. That way I can just pick it up and take it over to his table with me. And then on the bottom, we have a lot of our nonfiction books. So that's kind of where we have keep our resources and different things like that that we can grab. And there's Daniel. He had to get in the video. All right, buddy, go play. Say bye. Then over here we have our clock, our map of the United States. Um, my favorite part of our schoolroom, my globe that came from my great, or my grandpa before he passed away. Then we keep all of our extra school supplies in these little drawers. Now they're not very organized, but we've got index cards, crayons, glue, and construction paper. And then this is my desk. You can still see I'm doing a little bit of planning with the spelling power book. We have our pencil sharpener. CD player and this is our filing system so the kids put what needs graded in the needs graded box and then what I have already went through goes in graded and that's also where they keep their laptop for teaching textbooks and then this little thing is my homeschool mom portfolio it keeps all of our record keeping and everything right there in one spot so over on this wall we have our school calendar where I track our days. We have Daniel's little calendar here. And then this, I love these little drawers. Got these a couple years ago and they hold flashcards. They hold money wrappers, paper clips, anything you can imagine. All those little things that get shoved in the bottom of the drawers. So this bookshelf holds our teacher's guides, Curriculum we're using this year, but maybe they're not ready for. Um, Flashcards. And then on the bottom, these are all of the kids' portfolios through the past however many years we've been homeschooling. Eventually, I'm going to need more space for those, but I keep them for record-keeping purposes. So, And this is where Daniel does his school. Right here at this little table, and you can see we have his school schedule here. And then I have our year-round school schedule there when we're planning on taking days off. And that is a peek into our school side of the room. And then on this side, 
this is where our playroom area is, which as you can see, if you've seen my old post, um, we're kind of getting out of the toys. It's a little sad, <laughs> but the girls have grown out of a lot of things and we have a lot more space in here now. So, so that is a peek into our school space. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions about anything that you saw where I got some of our resources, then leave a comment below. And I'll also share the link to our old blog post um, sharing our school room so you can kind of see how things have changed through the years. So have a great day, guys. Bye.